Shalom from northern India in the Himalayan mountains. The Lord has put on my heart to put together uh, what I'm calling a mini video teaching series to encourage you in your walk with Yeshua to strengthen your faith. If you have friends or brothers and sisters in your congregation and church that might benefit from these, feel free to forward it to them and if they'd like to receive them in their inbox, they can just get in touch with us and uh, we'll be sure to add them to our uh, e-newsletter list. The message I want to share with you today relates to this field. Uh, the other day a good friend of mine from this village was plowing the field and I asked him, how do you like plowing the field? And he said, it's hard work, but I got to do it. And it reminded me of a passage of scripture that is very important for each one of us. It comes out of Luke 9.62. Yeshua said, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. Now, could you imagine if this man said, Well, you know, that's too hard. It takes too much energy. Uh, the field's too big. I just think I'll just forget it. His family may go hungry or be in need, or if he did a quarter of the field, his neighbors would say, well, why didn't you finish the project? I mean, that's your field. It's your responsibility to make sure that it's plowed right and taken care of correctly so that you'll have a good harvest. So it is in the kingdom of God. God gives assignments to each of us. God gives vision to each of us, and he wants us to put our hand to the plow and keep persevering until we complete the assignment or until the vision is fulfilled or until he releases us. There's another scripture here in Hebrews that relates to this and it's uh, from Hebrews chapter 10 verse 35 and beyond. So do not throw away your confidence it will be richly rewarded. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. Let us be those who put our hand to the plow and don't look back. Let us be those who persevere and receive what God has promised. Be blessed, Mishpucha, dear spiritual family and friends.